All right, so applications today. Fancy way of saying word problems. Okay? That's all it is. Okay? That's what we're going to end up dealing with today. But first, I would like to start with a different kind of sum problem from last week. Okay? So sigma, sigma notation, remember, means sum. Okay? So the sum of that series is negative 50. You find me how many terms are in that series. Okay? And you have enough information to do it. You might have to think about it for a little bit. So I'll give you a few minutes to ponder. So if I am going to find the sum, what are the three things that I need of an arithmetic? I'm going to find the sum of an arithmetic series. What are the three things that I need? Need the number of terms. Okay. Do we remember how we found the number of terms last week? In sigma notation, how did we find the number of terms last week? If you took notes, it's probably in your notes. Would have been on third. Total number of terms. Nope. Well, yes and no. Both. Top minus the bottom plus one. So that would be n in this case, because that's the top. Minus one, that's the bottom, plus one. Well, that's just n. So our total number of terms is n. Okay? You look confused there, Tosh. Okay. Your face is telling me different, but I'll keep going. So it is kind of an equation because it's the number of terms equals top minus bottom plus one, but it's really not because we just kind of do that in our head. Okay. All right. What else do I need? Got to figure out the first term, right? How do I figure out the first term? From last week, how do we figure out the first term? Go ahead, you. Because that's the bottom number. Yep. So I put one into my rule, right? So five minus five times one, right? Five is five. Five times one is five. Five minus five is zero. So my first term is zero. What else do I need? What's the third piece of data that I need? Uh, the last. I need the last term. How am I going to find the last term? How did we do it last week? I'm not going to lie to you. Sorry. <laughs> So we plug in the top term, right? Or what's on top, right? We plug it, which in this case is the amount of terms. Yep. Okay. So that would be 5 minus 5 times n, which is 5 minus 5n. Right? Okay. So now the formula was that the sum is equal to the number of terms divided by 2 times the first term plus the last term, right? What's my sum? What's the sum? I actually said it today already. Negative 50. The sum is negative 50. What's the number of terms? N. First term. Last term. Right? 
So this becomes negative 50 equals n over 2 times 5 plus 5n. Can I multiply both sides by 2? Yep. Can I distribute in that n? Can I divide every term by 5? What do I do next? Add the negative tw or add 20 to both sides? Oh, yes, good call. Good eye. So like that. Hmm? Now I like positives on my n squares. So I'm going to rewrite this as two numbers that multiply together to be negative 20 and add to be negative 1. Multiply together to be negative 20. Add to be negative 1. One of them works. One of them doesn't. Which one and why? Let me scroll back up for you, Ben. Let me ask you a personal question, Ben. What are we looking for? What's that? What's that? Number of terms, right? Okay. Or this top value, right? Okay. Either one of those would have worked. Multiple ones. Oh, let me just go back down for you. So the negative four doesn't work? Doesn't work. Because I can't have a negative number of terms. I got to have positive. Or. That top, both the, the, the bottom value on a sigma and the top value on a sigma have to be positive. What's up, Theo? What if both of those are positive? Then we got to figure out which one doesn't work. So then we have to put a fraction in there. Bingo. Or n equals 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because from this problem, let me scroll back up, I would know that we're really solving for n. So probably should have actually gone n equals 5 there. Okay? All right, let's do it. A field house has a section where the seating can be arranged. So the first row has three seats. The second row has seven seats, third row has 11 seats, and so on. If there is sufficient space for 30 
three rows in that section. How many seats are in the last row of this section? And how many total seats are there in that section? Okay. So the first row has three seats. Second row has seven seats. Third row has 11 seats. Is it arithmetic? Yes? Ryan, I actually saw your head shake at first. Why? And so we're going to assume that we're always going to be adding four after that? Love it. So yes, arithmetic. Okay? That means that we can figure out a rule, correct? Okay? So what would the rule be? Well, my first term is three. My common difference is four. So the rule would be a sub n equals three plus n minus one times four. Or 4n minus 1. That's my rule. Is that the answer that we were looking for? What do we need to do with it, Hope? So we got to figure out how many rows are in that last one, right? So I'm going to put in. Thirty into that into that formula, right? Okay. So a sub thirty is going to be four times thirty minus one. Four times thirty is one hundred and twenty. Minus one is one hundred and nineteen. Sorry, Neil, my S turned out to be like an 8. It didn't work, though. It didn't work, though. That's the problem, man. Oops, and then 119 is slow. You know why? Yes? What's up, Neil? If we wrote it as a sub 30 equals 119, um, way on the top, would that be right? Or would be right? On a test, I would just be asking for the number. Okay. Yeah. Where you would only have to fill in the number. I would have, it would have, this would be like a fill in the blank type one. And so it would say there are blank seats in the last row. Okay. You know what I mean? And you guys got to fill in the blank with 120. Good? Okay. So then, now we need to figure out how many total seats are in that section. Well, what are the three things we need to figure out the total number of seats? Term, what was the first term? Um, three. Three. So my first, first row had three seats. What else do I need? Last. last term. How many seats were in the last row? 119, that's what we just found. And? What do we got? The total number of terms, or in this case, the total number of rows. How many rows are in this set, in this section? 
Uh, what do we got? So 30 is purple. Three is blue. 119 is three. 30 divided by 2 is 15. <coughs> times 122. <coughs> Anybody? One thousand eight hundred and thirty. Love it. You had a different number? No, I had a super long Oh, okay. Gotcha. So you went you went thirty times sixty one? Yeah. Yep, that works. Yep, yep, that, that works. That's the cool part about math or about mathematics. Especially multiplication. You can do it whichever order you want. Awesome sauce. Go for it. Arithmetic, not arithmetic. Arithmetic, common difference? Two, going up by two every time, right? Okay. So we can find the rule then. Huh? Oh. Very similar, but not. Okay? And so we need to project that I have produced on the 30th day of the month, provided that we keep going with that great production. So then that would be 2 times 30 plus 11. 60 plus 11, so I get 71 items. Yes. Yeah. Then it said project the total number of items produced in the month. Well, the first day. We produced 13. The last day, we produced 71. And there was a grand total of 30 days that month. Fifteen times eighty four. That's what I got. Oh. At least that's what it says right here. I'm pretty sure. So that's what we got like three years ago. I know it's not last year's because, oh no, we would have gotten to this earlier. Yeah, we were still good. We just didn't get past that season last year. So it's probably last year. No, no. <laughs> no, you want tests. You really do. Because that's how your grade changes for the better. If you. Do well that sentence. Okay. If you don't take them, like some people, then not so much. Then your grade goes the other way. Yeah? Okay. 
think that was it. Yep, see, no more slides. For today. Yeah. Now, look at that. I'm giving you 20, what? Question for a question. On the homework? Well, let me get everybody else started first. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. All right. So I'm giving you 25 ish minutes, probably more like 23, if my math is correct, to work on. Now, on today, on this week's homework, like I said, we're looking at 9, 10, and 11 after today. Okay. So 9, 10, and 11 after today. Yes, ma'am. Are there military time on the weekend? We are not doing military time. We're doing regular clock time on number 10. Okay. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? It does. That's why yep. I asked. Yep. 